I've had it with this team, dude. What's going on? You know how we had talked about earlier, I think it was two weeks ago or something, that somebody must have made a deal with the devil for the Montreal Canadiens to get all of their guys injured. Yeah, if you needed the context, the Canadiens had a lot of guys injured last year. This year, it seems like a lot of those same guys are getting injured, but subsequently are now coming back, which is all good. And we joked around saying, hey, somebody must have done some witchcraft over here to get this done because for some reason it just keeps on happening. But maybe. I feel like in the Vancouver side of things, for the Vancouver Canucks, somebody must have placed not a curse on the Canucks, but what's the opposite of a curse? They gave this team a blessing. They forced the powers that be, the hockey gods, whatever you want to call it, you know it's Halloween today, so we've got all these mystical ideas floating around here. Somebody must have made a deal with somebody else to make this Vancouver team good. Because as we had talked about two days ago, the Canucks based Based off of all the advanced analytics seem to be a pretty legit team this year. And as we had talked about yesterday, the Canucks prospects, Hunter Brustevich, Arsteep Baines, the Karamaki, these guys are at the top of their league in points and goals. But today, thank you, big shout out over to Cody Severtson on Twitter, he does fantastic work covering the Abbotsford Canucks. He posted a tweet that kind of got me very, very curious. The tweet just says this, what? LOL. And included in this tweet is a very specific page on moneypuck.com. Now I'm going to go to the page myself and show y'all here on YouTube what exactly it is we're referring to. Today we are looking at the NHL's playoff odds via moneypuck.com and where the Canucks are ranked. Patrick Alvin, man, you've done well. Below are the odds of each NHL team making the playoffs, winning the Stanley Cup, and other milestones. The odds were updated at Tuesday, October 31st, 6.35 a.m. Eastern Time. Before we actually look at the odds, let's read about how they are calculated. There is a lot of information here. But the opening paragraph reads this, By running a simulation of the rest of the NHL season 100,000 times, we can create precise probabilities of the outcome of the season for each team. Each game is simulated using the probabilities from the pre-game prediction model discussed below. For games further into the future, the model scores are regressed to the mean to account for uncertainty. There also is an entire analytical breakdown as to how everything goes into this model. Variables in both home and away team models. There are things like expected goals from non-rebound shots, adjusted for even strength, expected goals in power play and penalty kill situations, unblocked shot attempts for, adjusted for even strength, save percentage, shooting percentage, at even strength, share of power play time, and then there are a bunch of other crazy, just random stuff that you can look at and read. This is a very in-depth statistical analytical model that isn't really easy to understand at first glance. But if you go over to the results and you see which teams have the highest chances of making the playoffs this year, the Vancouver Canucks have a 92.7% chance, which is number one. Second is Vegas with an 89.7, you have the Dallas Stars with an 89.6, and then the Rangers, the Hurricanes, the Kings, and the Avalanche falling shortly after. Now, while the model does have its own very intrinsic algorithm that compiles and assesses data, one of the easier things that we can acknowledge as fans that don't really understand everything is simply the playoff format. Hey, if the Vancouver Canucks are top three in the Pacific, which is probably going to be easier this year than ever before, Calgary sucks, Edmonton sucks, Seattle got off to a slow start, then they have a pretty good chance, especially considering how well they've been performing this season too. They have a higher percent odds than the Vegas Golden Knights, and if I had to guess why that is, I hypothesize that maybe the Golden Knights' easier schedule to start out the year could form itself a different kind of conclusion within the model. I mean, that's just my hypothesis. It's not really anything too significant here. But if you move on from just making the playoffs in general, and you talk about teams making the second round in the playoffs, the Vancouver Canucks once again have the highest odds at doing so, 53.1%. The Vegas Golden Knights have dropped all the way to 6th overall in this category. 
chances for making the third round. Vancouver actually has the second most probable chance behind the Dallas Stars. You could debate that the Central Division having itself its own teams and structure makes it a little bit easier or a little bit harder for some of these teams to get in. It's all algorithmic based, so it's a little bit difficult to fully verbalize. But then, when it comes to teams making the finals, the Canucks have the highest percent odds of any team at the end of October to doing that in 2024. And when it comes to the chances of winning the cup, the Vancouver Canucks are number one in this category. They literally have the highest cup odds at the end of October in the 23-24 season. And this is so gosh darn weird. The team is performing well. The team is winning games handily, like the St. Louis Blues game, like the Nashville Predators game, the first one. They are winning easily. They are losing games that we feel they should have won, like the Rangers game. The prospects are doing so well, and now the team is first in the Money Puck Cup winning odds? How is this possible? Patrick Alvin, bro. Patrick Alvin, you built this team. The Vancouver Canucks, according to the Money Puck thing here, the chart, they're on pace, or not on pace, but they're projected to winning the President's Trophy with 107 points. Second is Vegas, 105.9. New York is third. The Rangers, by the way, 105.8. Canucks have a 37% chance of being first in their division. Dallas has the number one shot at that at 44.8%. Again, Central Division, Pacific Division, it's a little bit different, so maybe that's why Dallas has the edge in this position here. And then, when it comes to the odds at getting the first overall pick, Vancouver is dead last, tied with Carolina, New York, and the Vegas Golden Knights in terms of odds at getting number one. I am so sorry to Macklin Celebrini, Vancouver guy, the first overall projected pick. His brother, Aiden Celebrini, is a Vancouver Canucks prospect. They're both playing together at BU with Tom Villander, with Lane Hudson. It's pretty interesting to see that dynamic going out there. But Macklin Celebrini, I'm sorry, buddy. Vancouver Vancouver has the lowest percent odds of being able to draft you. At least that's what the money puck projection goes out there and says. What the hell's going on with this team, dude? Like, honestly, if you talk about the quality of the Vancouver Canucks gameplay this season, it's been so above and beyond exceptional compared to last year that... I mean, if you told me, hey, look at the money puck standings and try to guess where the Vancouver Canucks are in the playoff race, winning the cup, whatever, making the playoffs, etc., etc., I would have been like, hey, they probably have a much better chance. Like, they'd be in the top half of the league, right? They're good enough to do that based off of how they perform this season so far, right? I don't know if I would have guessed number one. I don't know if I would have guessed the Canucks having the highest odds at winning the President's Trophy, the highest odds at making the playoffs, the highest odds at winning the Stanley Cup. Who would have predicted this if you told Canucks fans at the start of the season, let's say before the preseason, or no, during the preseason, when the Canucks were losing all those games. If you had told Canucks fans, hey, wait till the end of October, wait till Halloween, Canucks are going to be the best team in the NHL. Like, seriously, not number one in the standings, not number one in the points, but number one in the projections and number one in the odds. They have the best chance at winning the Stanley Cup right now. And even if this moment only lasts for like two days or whatever, I don't care. I'm going to make a video about it. When was the last time the Canucks ever had a standing that was this good? You know, we talked about this in the other video. I... After covering this team for years, you know, I started making Canucks videos full-time in 2017-18. The first video we ever made about Canucks news was when they signed Troy Stetcher back in like 20... What was it? 16? Something like that? We started talking about the Canucks just on and off then. This team has never been this good before. This is the first time in my YouTube channel's history where we're talking about a team that actually has a statistical shot at being a Stanley Cup contender. Wow. Patrick Alvin, bro. I'm starting to feel some kind of way. I don't know about you, but Canucks fans, how are we feeling about this? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about the Vancouver Canucks and their Stanley Cup odds being number one in the league. How long do you think this lasts? 
when do you think the Canucks come back down to earth? Do you think the Canucks win the Stanley Cup this year? And do you agree with the assessment that there's a 90% odd chance that the Vancouver Canucks make the playoffs this year? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.